First of all, I would like to tell you what is the important thing, you know, with the, the training. Training session first to start with the double vertical and not make the distance too long. Uh, normally, I always take the distance from seven meters because I want to collect it, correct active gallop. That the rider is taking not a big distance, you know, I would like to have a little bit of deeper distance. A deeper distance helps in general that the rider in the end, the horse should be waiting. So the rider will try to get room again. Deep, you know, deep is not, you know, that you're really close to the jump. But there's a little bit that the rider has the feeling, oh, oh now I come nearly a little bit too close. And then the rider will keep his body back so he will have his position better. better. Then the, ho the horse will learn to make a correct coming in. Then there is important as well that the horse is landing correct in the middle, that he's making a correct gallop, that he can develop to come out. Why from both sides is the same when we go home or we go away from home, the horse should be, you know, two different horses. Keep your body back. Good. Now you were already nearly a little bit too big to go uh, for the first fence. Keep your body back, positive and positive out. Very good, super. Sit, slow down, sit. First your body back. Body back, outside rain, slow down. Okay, Eno, thank you. I think it was a really good lesson again with Franke. Actually, like always, I always learn a lot. Like just the small things helps a lot and um, I really appreciate the training from Franke. Now we do the same exercise with Laura. Okay. Now as well, try to come a little bit close, not too big, you know, because he has so much more forward movement. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Good, good. And slow down again. Okay, good. So just stay steady. Close distance. Not too big, close. Stay back, stay back. Very good. So good, good. And slow down again. Good. Important is just that you stay quiet and that you say, okay, take the deep distance. Important is deep. And stay back. Very good. Very good. Super. And there you see as well, you know, you need some some exercises you know to to make it again to repeat this exercise till the horse is getting nicely you know and that the horse stays nice and quiet and back very good super and there you can see how important is this you know to to, to practice to train a young horse that the horse learns you know with this distance that actually after it's in the competition you can use the speed uh, how much, you know, when you need more coverage in the for competition, you have more gallop. So there as well, you know, it's much, much easier, you know, to make the distance or to do the things. But it's important, you know, that the horse is taking the time on the jump. After training the combination, now we start to make the line, where it's very important that we keep the same rhythm and the same gallop and to keep the right balance. Uh, there is as well, you know, what is very important that we, when we walk the distance for training is different as when we have the distance on the competition. Uh, this, I just walk one time. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here should be, you know, normally this case should be the takeoff. So the distance is quite short. But for the training, we've been practicing, you know, already in the session before that we did the double vertical. So this for the horse now, when the horse after the jump and is waiting and he sets up correct, then it will be very normal on the six strides. Okay, try to come. Keep your body back. There as well, approach. 
a deeper distance. So sit back. Very good. Very good. Okay. Just try. Same as the time before. Very important. When you go back and you want to hold the horse with your seat, with your legs, and very important that you keep your hands quiet. Keep your hands quiet. Sit back. Very good. Super. Very nice. So once uh, we do it once again from the other side. Very good. Super. Very good. So once uh, we do it once again from the other side. And then there as well, when you see sometimes in the middle of the distance, the horse is, you know, she wants to go. And that's a little bit, you know, then from the mouth. But by the time when she knows everything better, then it will, for her, will be normal. But the distance is good like this. Don't try to make one less or to say, okay, I have to go forward. And back, keep your body back. Very good. You see, now you get already, you know, the last stride, you get enough room, you know, that's okay. From this is much easier for her, you know, to move, to go on. Very good. Huh? I would trot her a little bit and just leave her. It's very nice, super. Uh, when we train the distances, what we have on the show is most of the time then too long. It's much better, you know, when we have, you know, in training a little bit, the distance a little shorter that we can by ourselves. We can wait a little bit more. The horse can stay much better in his balance and learn, you know, that, okay, from a correct canter to go bigger is much more easy. Uh, that's why this exercise is so important that we first take ourselves back, leave the horse with the confidence, even when there's mistakes are coming, even try to continue again, and then all of a sudden you will feel the horse will follow you. Thanks to Laura and thanks to Enno, making my life quite easy because now we have some nice pictures and I hope we could help you to make some ideas. Take care and have a good time.